last week, Friday, officially 9 to Grind went live at 9togrind.shop. You can clearly see we got some nice products in. This stuff is going quick and we're almost sold out. This drop was extremely limited and once it's gone, it's gone forever. And we do have a few things left, so if you are interested and want to get your hands on Collection 001, head to 9togrind.shop. It is officially live. Place your order. For those of you that did order something, I appreciate you so much. It helps me out, helps out the channel, and it's going to allow us to do bigger and better things here in the future. So. Go get you some 9 to Grind merch, and sometimes we all need that reminder that it's time to work, even after work. Let's get it. You know, I have a lot of Mustang stuff that I'm currently not using and looking to get rid of, so pay attention, here we go. Austin 1314 taillight. We have a set of two valve smoked headlights. 99 through 04 rear seat, leather, awesome condition. 1314 stock radio, and beat up magic drift. Chin spoiler. Blue Supers 1314, grab and blue stock wing. Ford F-150, blue front grill. 0304 Cobra bumper, needs tabs. Three valve stock airbox. BMP, JLT, cold air intake, carbon fiber, filter, throttle body, full line, 69 millimeter twin jet. New edge, tail lights, three valve front grill with fogs and black pony. We have a stock 1314 crash foam, and a 99-01 crash phone. CX Racing slash Vortex Supercharger for new edge piping, Gretti blow off valve, etc. etc. Got some new edge fogs. We have some OEM 1314 fogs, a set and a tinted set, 99 plenum. Some other goodies. Another set of 99 through 04 taillights. Brand new. Cobra Jet intake. It's literally brand new. Stock 1314 springs with isolators still attached. Blues OG airbag still intact. Two new edge steering wheels. We have Blues OG gray setup steering wheel. And then we have a charcoal steering wheel. 99 through 01 Raxium third brake light. It's like practically brand new. Gate cluster for a new edge. I might keep this. Oxford white 1314 window louvers in pristine condition. No one of you want these, hit me up. 1314 intake with fuel rails and fuel injectors. It's a throttle body, this was off Lucifer. And then we also have, I wanna say a three valve manifold. So, um, yeah, someone can scoop these. 1314 GT500 radiator cover, 99 through 01 radiator cover. Ford OEM 11, 10 through 12 strut tower. These ones, I think they work on GT500s as well. Brand new, never installed. 99 through 04 caster camera plates, SVD boost gauge with a 2001 Vortec supercharger bracket. Lucifer stop clutch flywheel and flywheel slash clutch bolts with a Ford OEM drum bearing. Lucifer's gravel blue original hood with black hood vents and red line hood struts. The hood is also PPF, great condition. Hit me up guys, I have all these parts. Someone wants to come grab a truck and completely clear out the closet and you know do your own little reselling of brand parts. Bring me a thousand dollars. Call it even. Bring your truck though, because I ain't shipping anything. Like I said, thousand dollars. Come take all of it. Um, there's definitely money to be made here. I just simply do not have time. Um, so if anybody's interested in you know doing a little reselling slash flipping parts, hit me up, Productions at gmail.com. Bring your truck, come snag all this stuff, sell it make a little penny off of it. Well, just finished up cleaning out the second garage for Karma C7. So much better. All the car parts are now in the closet and you know, obviously I have my hood and my drag packs and stuff, but turned out really good. And Romina now has her own garage. Just gotta go and add the final touch, which is the Corvette sign right above the table. As far as this garage though, completed. Now it's time for Lucifer's.
Well, do we have something pretty sick for Blucifer? Let's check it out. So, in this box right here, we have something that is new to the market, new to me, obviously, and going to potentially make Blucifer a wee bit rowdier, but at the same time, it's gonna make it much, much safer. And here's how. So our friends over at VMP Performance have been working on some brand new E85 complete plug and play kits for the S197s and I would imagine S550s. So we have one of those here today and I wanna say VMP did partner up with Deechworks, I think that's how you say it. And those are currently the type of injectors I have in the car right now, Deechworks 1000s. But um, yeah, they partnered with Deechworks and made a really, really badass product. And I have it here today, and you guys are gonna see it firsthand. Um, if you follow VMP's YouTube channel, I know they did a whole review and everything on that, but I wanna take a look at this. Um, I briefly went over a little bit of it, but I haven't really like looked looked at it. So we're gonna do that together today. And um, you can see we got you know some goodies in here. And I think, yeah, we're gonna save this part for last. That's the coolest part. But I will say, I don't know everything when it comes to this kit as far as what does what, what's this for, what's that for. But I do know these are fuel lines. And when I said this was a plug and play kit, I am 90, 95% positive that this kit isn't gonna require any like hardcore cutting of lines and you know attaching your own fittings. Cause you can see like right here, these beautiful braided lines already have fittings. And we're gonna talk a little bit about those fittings and where they connect to, because I obviously have the VMP Gen 3R on the car with the VMP fuel rails, which is a must. So we're already set up in that aspect. We just gotta pretty much plug all this up, run the lines, yada yada. Fuel lines right here. And then we have what looks like um, the wiring harness to control the fuel pump and you know, some some relays and, and whatnot, you know, the boring stuff, the stuff that nobody likes to run. Probably the worst part about running a fuel system is all that. Uh, what else we have in here? Get a little receipt, or invoice I should say. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like this kit, full kit, consists of nine different pieces. Also looks like we have a little fuel pressure um, gauge here. That's gonna be super important. We also got, it's in this box. Um, again, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know everything. I would imagine this is gonna be for the lines to all meet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on, um, I just work here. Looks like we have some clamps in this baggie. Hardware kit for the VMP plug and play return style fuel system. So this is really cool. When you run those braided lines, you're obviously gonna have to, you know, um, tap them into the body at some point to hold them all up. And you can see those are what those rubber clamp things are for. And then in this box, we have a filter. And this is a really, really nice fuel filter. Check this thing out. Dual stage. Dual stage filter. That's he ain't got that. So we have this little mini airlift tank now onto probably the most exciting part. It's gonna be the fuel pump itself. Um, this is a dual pump. One, two, two pumps, more fuel. E85, you're gonna need it. Gas mileage about to go. Not that, you know, the eight miles a gallon I get on 83 right now matters, but gee, it's gonna be bad. Let me pull this out nice and easy. And this is a very, very good looking setup. Very good looking. Um, let's go ahead and take that off. Here she is, guys. Big old meaty fuel pump here. And look at the red on top of that. That looks so good. VMP performance, fueled by DW, Deechworks. I think I'm still saying that correctly. This is gonna be our return style fuel system for this car. And there's a little bit I have to talk about as to why I'm doing this. Um, you guys already know, we're, we're pushing, knocking on heaven's door 100% with this setup right now. VMP Gen 3R, huge overkill blower for the car, but a lot, a lot of room to grow if I ever decide to pull this motor and you know switch it up. But we are on an 88 millimeter pulley. The car is making well over 700 horsepower as it sits right now. And that's on 93, so when I last got it, uh, What's it called? Uh, 
what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Data log, damn it, that's what it's called. When I did the last data log on the car, um, I was definitely told by the tuner to, you know, look into E85, not just for the power gains, because realistically, I'm not trying to gain any power, but this is where it's super important. The E85 kit with pushing that much power on a Gen 1 is going to save your motor. As you guys know, E85 has much more oxygen in it. It burns way cleaner. Um, and I think it's even cheaper than 93, but the only downside about E85 is you're pretty limited on gas stations. I know there's only like one place in this whole vicinity around me, which I do live in a pretty busy area, but one place in particular, which is the Sheets on Broad Street, is the only place around here that has E85. So that's a super, super, super inconvenience, especially, you know, these don't have flex fuel tunes where you can throw 93 in and oh, if you wanna run 85, you have a quarter tank, screw it, just put E85 in, it'll adjust itself. Doesn't have that. But here's the full fuel system laid out here on the table. And you know, it's a very good looking kit. It looks very well organized, which I like. I'm a super neat freak. And this doesn't look like a big old jumbled mumbled mess. The only goal with this is just to keep the car as safe as possible. Cause I mean, look at this thing. Who wants to mess this car up? It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And right now it's wearing the crown for the one of the nicest S197s around. So if I ruffled your feathers with that one, I mean, hey. Oh, on a serious note though, very excited about this. Shout out to you VMP for sending this out to me. And you know, with this whole entire kit, there is one thing I'm kind of leaving out from my understanding. These lines have to be ran to the VMP fuel rails, which are right here. Very nice aluminum fuel rails. You can see probably the VMP etched on the top. And I want to say that's like the only thing. Good news is, is I think they have like a um, combo kit where it's the full fuel system and both rails and everything, you know, to make it work. So figured I'd go ahead and share this news with you guys because I know a lot of you have been on my tail about getting Lucifer on E85. And don't worry, I was on the same page. It's just, I had so much going on with this car. So much, and um, there's still a couple little tweaks I got to do, but you guys know we did the new hood. If you haven't checked out that video, click the card right up in that corner. I promise you, you're not gonna regret. You even see Blucifer stand style with the big old meaty rears with no hood and that blower showing. Uh -uh, looks so good. Built headlights are in. Shabang, built fog lights, shabang. Did I say fall or fog? I don't know. Well, with that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If any of you are still interested in those parts over there, shoot me an email, DerekBrandProductions at gmail.com. I prefer not to ship. If it's something small, then I will. If it's something huge, like my hood, not happening. <laughs> Make sure you guys go check me out on Twitch. I stream every day, twitch.tv slash daddydvp500 subscribers we are doing a 24 hour live stream and i think we're almost at 400 so if you have twitch prime and stuff go run it out for your boy tune in come hang out we're gonna be playing fours of five playing all the games boy so get in there and um let's get it until next time we'll see you later